Hey everybody, it's Miss Carrie. I hope you're all having a happy holiday. So today I wanted to make a quick video about movable pentatonic scales because um, I noticed that my page only has the open position pentatonic scales. So I want to give a quick little guide on how to do some movable pentatonics. So we're going to start at the first fret and we're going to work our way up to the fifth fret. If you decide on your own to go past the fifth fret, just keep in mind that it's a movable pattern and as long as you follow the finger positioning you should be able to come out with something awesome and we will talk about moving these into different patterns that kind of base around the pentatonic in a different video so anyway let's do some starting at the first position so whenever we do a pentatonic scale um our first note which is our root note the next note would be three half steps away so it's always going to be a perfect index to pinky for your sixth string note now for my fifth string note the notes will be a whole step or two half steps from each other so i will stay at the first fret and then i'll go a whole step to put me at third and the fourth string i'm going to go first to third second string i'm sorry third string i'm going to go first to third a second string i'm going to go first to fourth and then my first string i'm going to end on the first fret now if i want to add it for consistency purposes um, I could also add in the 4th fret because remember what you do on the 6th string, you can also do on the 1st string as well since they're basically both E. So what I had here is a 1st position pentatonic, so I'm going 1, 4, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, and then again if I want to I can add in the 4th. And when I descend I'm going to basically go down in the same pattern that I went up. So I'll be going one, four on the second, one, three on the third, one, three on the fourth, one, I'm sorry, three, one, four, one. Okay, so I had one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, and then descending one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one. Now, if you notice when I go on my sixth string and my second string, those are the only ones that I'm having a index to pinky or three half steps movement. Um, if I do include the first string, again, same thing, I would be doing three half steps um, going from my index to my pinky. But all of the other notes are only a whole step difference. So that means I'm basically going from one to three or index and ring finger. Now I'm going to shift the pattern up to F sharp and do it from the second fret. And you're going to notice it's basically the same shape of what I just did. So going from an F sharp root note, I would go two, five, two, four, two, four, two, four. Second string is two, five, and then first string is two. And again, similar to what I did at the first fret, I can also add in the fifth fret if I like. And then when I descend, two, Five, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, five, two. So one more time, that's two, five, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, five, two, two, five, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, and then last string, five, two. Now, same thing, I'm going to move up to the third fret, and you're going to notice it's the same exact thing. I'm just hitting different frets, but I'm following the same exact pattern. So I'm going to have three, six, three, five, three, five, three, five, three, six, three. And again, for consistency purposes, I can also add the six. When I descend, it's going to go three on the first, then six, three on the second, then five, three, five, three, five, three, and then six, three. So the third fret, which would make a G. Three six three five three five three five three six three three six three five three five three five three six three shifting up to the fourth I'm gonna have the same exact pattern just starting at the fourth fret so now a G sharp or a flat whichever you want to call it so I'm gonna go four seven four six six four six four seven four and again consistency if I want I can add in the seven descending four seven four six four six four six four seven four last one we'll do it at the fifth fret and again it's the same exact movable shape or pattern so i'm gonna have four five on my sixth string then an eight on my sixth string fifth string will be five seven fourth string five seven third string five seven second string five eight 
and then first string five. And again, if I like, I can add in the eight as well. And when I descend, I'm gonna go five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, six string, eight, five. Okay, so one more time, our A pentatonic, starting at the fifth fret. Five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five. 585757575585 So that's basically going from the first to the fifth. You can explore that further up the neck and as long as you keep the same shape and pattern, you're going to come out with a great result. So just to do a quick recap, I'm going to do the pentatonic starting at the first and then I'm going to end myself at the fifth. So we're going to have six string, first fret. So this would be our F. sharp G at the third and then G sharp and last we have A at the fifth That's our movable pentatonic that we can do basically starting at any fret. Just make sure that your six string notes and your second string notes are making a three half step movement between each other. So you should be using your index finger and your pinky finger. And when we hit our first string, if you want to add that extra note for consistency purposes, we're we'll doing the same thing index and pinky. Now for your fifth string, fourth, and respectively your third, those ones you're doing a three half, uh, I'm sorry, a whole step movement. So that's only moving two frets. So I'm starting at the first, I'm going one to three, and I would do the same thing on the fifth string, fourth string, and third string respectively. Um, in our next video that I go into this a little bit further, I'm going to show you how to utilize some of those patterns, which I actually personally use myself because I was born and raised and basically learned guitar from Kurt Kamet from Metallica, who utilizes a lot of this, but a lot of what I do is taking that same pattern and putting it into a triplet where I would go... that is is basically the same thing I just showed you I'm just putting it into a triplet and I'm starting on the second note and then working my way back so that's a triplet pattern um, we'll explore that in another video that's a little bit more of an advanced thing um, that I like to teach so anyway I hope you enjoy and I hope you all have a wonderful holiday so take care and rock and roll